Hi, good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Adam Odamore. I am from Nigeria. I am an artist, I'm an archivist, I am an emerging curator in the DMV area, and I'm also um, an astute art collector. And so for me, art is something that speaks to my soul, um, it speaks to my heart because it's a way of healing. I am originally from Nigeria, born and raised in Benin City, and I currently live in DC, and I came to DC studying international development, which is my background, uh, working in international development, working with women economic and social empowerment. And from then on, I decided to hopefully pivot into education because that is my passion. With my background being on gender and education, I came into the art as a collector, first of all, and art that I collect are things that speak to my soul, are things that allow me to relax and, and breathe whenever I feel stressed. And as a creator of art, in a sense, I also want to create pieces and works that allow people to feel the same way, to breathe and to see themselves reflected in the things that I create. As such, I come into this with a passion for helping people realize themselves more through art and art as a tool for healing and rest. And that also speaks to the collection that I have. In thinking about the things that I curate as well too, I want to also use art as a medium for helping people to heal and rest. And so the shows that I'm interested in curating, uh, as this current show that's happening right now, that is opening on Friday, um, the September 1st, 2023 at 6 p.m. at Helio. It's a show that is centering rest and healing. And the title of the show is called To Harvest a Dream, buried in dust on care and blackness and the show itself speaks to the ideas of showing pieces and works that allow and reflect the softness and the gentleness particularly of black people and in general people of color and allowing us to see ourselves reflected in the pieces that are created by african artists african-american artists um, in the diaspora as well and to help us sort of understand ourselves and what ask ourselves questions such as what does rest look like for me what does my divine identity look like for me through engaging with these pieces i hope that people get a sense of thinking through the systems that we've been exposed to either being patriarchy uh, capitalism imperialism racism all these isms that oftentimes try to take away our rest and our peace and the goal is that we could help ourselves begin to understand each other better by asking those deep questions, what does rest look like for me? And begin to reclaim for ourselves. And so the art that I collect, the art that I create, is about looking at the interior of our beings and hopefully imagining, it's about reimagination, reimagining a better world where we are free to rest without feeling that we have to deserve the rest. We have to deserve, um, having worked so much, we have to then rest. But we deserve rest just because of our being alone, because we are humans. And as such, I, I hope that this show and my collection in general allows people to see that for themselves. In looking at the exhibition space, the works in this, in this gallery right now speaks to the interior lives, as I say, it's called the interiority, right? In the posit, in, in writing this sort of crafting this concept for the show, I was imagining ideas around healing, around rest, but also around transparency and vulnerability. And so in looking at the pieces in the gallery, as you understand, you begin to interrogate your own ways of showing up, right? I want you to be able to take away and ask yourself those deep questions. What does being vulnerable look like for me, right? And how can I get into a space where I feel vulnerable enough to, to show my entire self? Um, and as a curator, I'm, I'm hoping that I keep using art as a tool to have beautiful conversations and to create safe spaces for us to begin to understand each other and understand the things that are important to our hearts. And so I hope to keep creating art. Um, I hope to keep having conversations and creating spaces where we can keep being real and vulnerable within ourselves, why reimagining a better way of living, a better way of experiencing life based on trust, based on care, based on peace and joy, and having the resources to actually actualize ourselves. Because oftentimes what is impossible in this decade is not impossible in another decade. 
my future plans actually my goal with my collection is to actually create a whole museum i want to create a museum of rest the idea is to have my own contemporary art institute uh, for art and healing uh, where literature uh, particularly books by black women artists who have been showing us for generations and speaking to our healing and rest allows for people to go within themselves so my collection is the foundation of that and hopefully collaborating with different artists in creating those architecture that actually serve uh, as healing spaces too so how does one create a school that actually enhances learning how does one create a library that actually enhances people to begin to ask questions and how does one create hospitals that enhances healing quickly right so this museum i intend to create with my collection is going to have a library for a component but also is going to have the idea of a zen garden so meditation practices and programming that allows for healing and rest uh, while allowing safe spaces uh, to keep ask, asking those deep questions and that's just the beginning right and so we hope that it is my future hope that as I continue to do this work and learning, uh, more ideas and more opportunities for partnership will come to create something bigger than myself. And that is my gift, my gift I plan on giving to humanity.